Hey, what's going on guys? The Horror Man back with the second review of the Fangoria Challenge. This time, Jason and I watched Urban Ghost Story. According to Fangoria, Urban Ghost Story is another one of the 101 best horror movies you've never seen. Truthfully, Jason and I hadn't seen it until now. This was a first time watch for both of us, and after all these years, it was worth the wait. Urban Ghost Story is a 1998 supernatural horror film. It was set and filmed in England, so along with being filled with atmosphere, it is also filled with English accents. Scottish accents too in fact. Part of the movie was filmed in Scotland. But notably, again, that atmosphere. It's very gritty. The setting reminded me and Jason both of Cabrini Green in Candyman. Most of Urban Ghost Story takes place in a low income high rise. Urban Ghost Story is about a young teenage girl named Lizzie who is in a bad car accident and thrown from the car. She survives, but her friend Kevin, who was also in the car with her, isn't so lucky. He dies inside the car as it bursts into flames. Months later, Lizzie is back at home, still dealing with the loss of her friend. She lives in an apartment with her mother and her little brother. But upon returning home, Lizzie may have brought someone or something else with her. She begins having visions while she's awake and nightmares while she sleeps. And then other strange happenings occur. Furniture moves on its own and scratching sounds are heard from within the walls. Lizzie's mother calls a journalist named John for help. He's played by Jason Connery, the son of Sean Connery. John seems understanding of the circumstances and he seems to believe Lizzie's story. Lizzie believes the apartment is haunted. But unbeknownst to Lizzie and her mother, John's primary objective is to get an exciting story. And he'll get his story from a hired paranormal group. They confirm Lizzie's fears and believe that when Lizzie died for approximately three minutes after the accident, a demon possessed her body. Are Lizzie and her family really being haunted by a demon? Or is there something else going on? Is it just another hoax, or is this a genuine urban ghost story? I'm not always a huge fan of supernatural films, but there are exceptions, and Urban Ghost Story is one of them. This one really impressed me, and I know Jason will say the same thing in his review. I don't know what I was expecting with this movie, but it wasn't what I got. The setting and atmosphere alone are worth the watch. They add some genuine creepiness to the film. There is a sense of realness to the whole production. They took it seriously. It's well acted and gripping and fast paced. At only an hour and 22 minutes, Urban Ghost Story flew by. The seed of Chucky himself has a role. Billy Boyd plays a loan shark in this. All I could picture was Glenn or Glenda delivering his lines. Lizzie was played by Heather Ann Foster and this was her first and only film. It's a shame too, because I thought she did a great job. As part of this challenge, Fangoria considers Urban Ghost Story one of the 101 best horror movies you've never seen. And I agree. This film definitely deserves more attention. And if Urban Ghost Story sounds good, I highly recommend Ghost Watch. I reviewed Ghost Watch the day after Halloween last year so I will link that review on the end screen of this video. All I will say about it is it's quite possibly the scariest movie I've ever seen. Well, we're two movies down in the Fangoria Challenge and 99 more to go. What will Jason and I watch next? You'll find out soon enough. But until then, let us know if you've seen Urban Ghost Story. If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching guys, hit that thumbs up and be kind, subscribe.